Shadowfish. I'll predict Shadowfish Rogue. Paradise. Is this like Paradiso's little protege? Get a sap onto Bad Lizard. He's gonna berserk a rage out of that and get onto the priest. Yes. We do get managed to get the combat, we get gouged off it. Charge onto the rogue, though, he's going to stop anything. Fear ward onto the rogue instantly. We're trying to dispel it. Doesn't come off first, second, third. It does, though, and we are in good shape to start this off. Shadow Priest playing like a disc to spam with some heals, and the rogue trying to get away in order to get a little restealth. But this priest is uh, donating himself to the cause, to be honest. Uh, we're going to get a little opener here. Kidney onto battle is with a PS to follow up, but the Shadow Priest is getting fucking dunked on, disperses at 5%, and just dies in it. And, uh,. Again, that was so clean. Slightly, <laughs> slightly dodgy level of gameplay coming out of the the boys in <laughs> the boys on the other side of the arena. The chode to Chad's girl, Stu. No, you, you, went, you went, Stu wasn't here for the chode to Chad's girl, dude. Right, well, on the chode to Chad's girl, Ryan puts himself above the end of the Chad scale. He puts himself like hundred sigma male, like fucking. That, he reckons he's the Dan Bilzerian of priests. <laughs> Is that a good thing? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't disagree. Jesus Christ, dude. This guy's got a crack on fucking beard, that guy. I don't want to be a Dan Bilzerian, mate. I do want the beard, <laughs> though. Right, when the sewers, they take it away while I get my peas. Uh, and it is Preg Enhancement Shaman, another degenerate comp of the Wrath of the Lich King era. Um, Frost Shots could land instantly, but Bad Lizard does not give a fuck about that. He is just getting in there um, and trying to thump him down. Repentance is going to be full here. Didn't death that one, did we? Oh, <laughs> Paladin starts taking some tum. Hodge is going to land off it. We don't need to use anything though because they're doing zero fucking damage. Carl Jones is just going to get fucked here. Get the MD and down he goes. And that, my ladies and gentlemen... Yeah, are you watching like a stream yeah, in the future yeah. or what? Yeah, yeah. I just expect things, right? I expect, I expect, <laughs> and there's a four percent MD that the paladin's gonna fucking die. Oh, you might have a friend in the chat, Sue, mate. Friend, Geordie friend. Oh, friend. Oh, Geordie friend. Away from it. <laughs> right, zippy into it against the preg enhancement shaman. Um, pretty easy comp for priest hunter, I believe. Uh, should be no problem for a paragon of their class like Zippy. Uh, gonna open up here onto the sham pop spirit rules instantly. Just gonna tump everything you can into the priest. Their repentance gonna land onto Zippy. Have to sit this one out. Uh, Fear's gonna land, but Tremor's gonna break everything out. And actually, we're in a bit of trouble here. Have to pop the PS. Still got the trinket available. But we need to get away from it. Do we get a freedom? We do. But Ryan decides to stand still during the freedom and just uh, run back to the pillar. Not great use of that cooldown from the side of Rhinology X. Um, Silent Shot going to land onto the Shaman, and we are actually trying to kill him here. I would have personally been going for the Paladin, but Zippy knows more than me. Uh, healing Ray is going to heal him up to uh, about 50%, but uh, the sack is dispelled. So the Shaman actually in a lot of trouble here. We have not much more to help. The Bop's going to land, and we need to try and get some heals on him before the Bop comes off. Do not get it in time. The aim shot is reapplied. Fear lands onto the Paladin. Is all man doing his painted to the coaching service. Catch him in Yell in Dalaran at any time if you want to join in. You can be just like the Shaman dead on the floor. <laughs> Lost Stu. Stu? We've lost Stu. Oh, no, he's no. there, he's there! It's, it's pizza time? Oh, yeah, I forgot. You said you were going to go do your pizza. Yeah. Man. On a scale of 1 to 10, how burnt is it? Uh, I'm going to say literally 1. It's perfect. I'm going to put a picture in the general chat of Hydromist any second now. Well, isn't 1 raw? Mm, okay, it's like, a, it's, like a, it's like a 4. I don't see it in the general chat. Here it comes. Burnt as fuck, mate. What are you doing? Mate, let's look at it. How, how are you calling that perfect? That's perfect. The cheese is still no, cheesy. Can... The crusts no. are still crusty. Oh, no. What do you? <laughs> it can't fucking win. I either burn it or it's wrong. What do? You... Put some react. Put some reacts on that. Oh shit! I put a USA react. Probably relevant actually. If it's you, you. What's wrong with that? Tell. Look, we're in the game. But... <laughs> anyway, game. Yeah. Tell me what's wrong with that pizza. You think that's burned? Are you insane? I'm gonna put a nanny me... on that. <laughs> We put it in the stream show. Come on, look, flaming aside, trolling, obvious trolling aside, what's wrong with that? I would eat it. I'm not, you know what, Sue, mate? Sue? Yeah? I would Stu? eat it. It's perfect. What not, are you talking about? I would about? not complain about that pizza, other than the fact that it's like, you know, an oven pizza. No, it's an Asda fresh pizza. It's, it's, so it's, it, best, it's yeah, as good as you can get. It is as good as getting the oven category. I, would, absolutely. I, would, I, like, I prefer the pizza to be a bit overdone. But you can't, if I left the crusts to be 
not burned, as you say. The raw, the middle will be fucking red raw. Yeah, no, you go. It's fine, mate, mate. I'll allow it. Back to the pizza. So napkin, <laughs> napkin or or plate. Burns won the poll. I can't believe Burns won that. Poll. Maybe the picture didn't show it right. But what would you eat your pizza <laughs> on? Napkin, plate. I'll no, it's towel. a tea towel. I'll put I'll put tea towel on there. Too. No, all right. Be specific. What would you eat your fourteen-inch pizza on? I've done it, mate. I've done it. Napkin, plate, or that's tea an towel. unfair. That's a. <laughs> I'm going for plate. First. If I had a ten-inch pizza or an eight-inch pizza, it would be on a plate. I've got a pizza plate for so that's. Do you want me to show you my pizza plate? <laughs> <laughs> mate, I'm gonna be this. I'm gonna be real honest. I know you voted for napkin because it's no. Like, you you vote for tea towel. We've got three votes on tea towel. Seventeen <laughs> votes on plate. <laughs> It's a, it's, an, it's a bias, Paul. You can't fit a 14-inch pizza on a fucking plate. I'm telling you now. It's a crumb, a crumb, it's a crumb cloth, right, Steve? Crumb cloth. <laughs> my, crummy, my crummy rag. A crummy rag, yeah. <laughs> All the crummies on it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, we're getting demonetized, right? <laughs> No, 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 no. What for? Talking about crumbs? We're talking about pizza. pizza crumbs. <laughs> you can talk about crumbs. What do you mean? Right, Priest DK, best comp in the game, getting into it against a double rogue. Um, for me, hard comp to beat. Maybe the Girth has has secret tactics. I don't know. I'm trying could really hard to keep my back to the ghoul here for him. Could be Mage Rogue, to be fair. Um, it is double rogue. Let's see what happens here. They didn't bother to do a double Garot, which is nice. Uh, just double Shadow Dance used. They both run off. We still have PS. That's not good for them. Mm -hmm. They've used my mind. I mean, like, this standard of double rogue is... It's a low standard. It's a low standard low of double rogue. Standard. Girth's 2.7. So, maybe they just... Uh, maybe they're having an off day. But, uh, I mean... An off expansion, by the looks of it. Off expansion, yeah. I mean, obviously, they're still going to win because they're just going to wait, and in roughly 23 seconds, you're going to die with uh, no trinket on either of you. Still have one blind available. So it doesn't matter that they're not very good at the game. All that matters is that they play double rogue. Do you know what's really unfortunate? What? The orc rogue resisted the fear. Ooh. That's bad. Yeah. Maybe you can... Ooh, maybe... Oh, you could have shot him out. You, oh, you did. Double you did. fear resist. Double Poggers. fear. Poggers in the lair. But you're not taking no damage here. What are they doing? What is this standard of gameplay? I'm I'm shook. I'm I'm shook, mate. Eyes up, by the way. Yeah. You, you need to sprint for that eye, mate. They're actually getting a third attempt at this. After the first two attempts were, were, were chucked in the bin. Do we make it to the eye? Or do we get sapped? Make it to the eye. <laughs> He's left. Wow. Bye bye. Hold your, hold your heads in shame. <laughs> Ooh, double rogue. I reckon you can just walk into the middle and stop pop starfall. You're probably getting shit out. Like the range on it's fucking massive. Oh, I'm right? in combat. I'm in combat. Poggers. I just want to see a starfall pop. How have I not got someone? Unbelievable. Unbelievable! It's double rogue. Be gents. Two Garrots successfully chained together here. Did they? I thought they only got one. No, it's two Garrots. I mean, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. It's not. It's not over yet. Come on, get a dot, please. Oh. Did you the get tree dot? The tree did the Lord's work, mate. The tree did nah, the Lord's work. Nah, but you work. get dot. Doesn't need a dot, mate. This is a tree mate. Nah, he's got travel form, mate. <laughs> Does he use bark skin? I would recommend it. Nah, he's not using it, man. He's not a pussy. I don't think using bark skin makes you a pussy, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you the a trees gamer. are still going, man. They're it's still going. Yeah, They're taking him like, out. Oh, like, my God. He gets the fairy fire. Oh, the fairy fire. Ooh. Oh, no dot, though. Play. Got a cloak, he's got a cloak. I think we're alright though. Big fat boomkin. Does he get a dot? Shadow step into the kidney. Um nice. he's gonna have to cloak. He's yeah, done, mate. He's done. Hey, that nah no, 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 because we have to realize he still has bark skin now. Oh. 
the knockback. Does he get sapped on the eye? Oh my god, he opens, dude. Ooh. Oh, this is Rash from N MP Tuned. Ooh. Gets oh, the dance. Bark, no bark. way he kills him in this, dude. Moon can ask about a bazillion armor, and he's actually just dying to thorns. He's like dying a to little thorns. bitch. No. Oh my god, that's the most bitch thing I've ever Ooh. seen, dude. Other than obviously <laughs> playing Double Rogue. <laughs> oh! So he spilled tea on her keyboard. Oh, dear. Lee has probably gone for about seven keyboards in one year. Like, no joke. I'm literally poor because of Lee. Help me, chat. I want to eat, but I can't because Lee is spending all the money. Right, Priest uh, Rogue against the Priest DK. Pretty. That's uh, pretty even matchup. It is an assassination rogue, which means he can't play the game. So just little chains of ice on him will probably end all of his pressure. Do we get it, though? Nor is going to mean we can maybe get away here. Little desecrated ground as well with a spell of gargoyle out of it. The chains of ice comes out. Does he get any diseases up through it? Does not, but we can get them now with desecrated ground coming up again. We just need to get him off once. A little grip into the middle of nowhere would be absolutely huge. He has no cloak of shadows, which means the slows would be full. Can destroyer do it? Go on, mate. Run away. Grip him. I know you're listening. Where is it? There you go, and the rogue's off, and he should never touch us again. Oh, we don't get to slow up. And we are just going to start getting punted again. Now the cold blood comes out with the rogue taking a lot of damage here, actually. Strangulate has been used. The PS comes out onto the rogue here, and the destroyer needs to keep the pressure up, but he needs to run away and grip the rogue. Ten seconds on the grip, otherwise we are just going to die. We pop the uh, nothing because we've used it all, and Kidney is going to take us down to about 50% health. Shadow Fiend comes out onto the rogue, and again, you need to run away and grip him, son. You need to do it now. Otherwise, there we go. Look at that. And we do get the grip cloak shadows with five seconds left on the cooldown. Means that it is going to be available soon. Drinks out of the gnaw and cloak shadows is up again, and uh, we are dead. Bye bye. Say bye bye to this cruel world. Say bye bye to the cruel world. We're still alive, but now we're dead. Da -da -da. What? Da, 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 da. We are so fucking dead. We got kicked. We're dead. Dead, dead, dead. But the, the, the road ah! goes down. <laughs> loser, 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 loser. Oh, I see all the Man United starting centre backs are injured. That's not good. <laughs> I'll take it, mate. Go back to Lindelof and Maguire. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. That's brutal. That's actually, stuff, actually, I saw, I saw Maguire scored a nice own goal yesterday. Actually, that's good. Wait, wait, did he? Yeah. <laughs> oh. and, uh, surprise, surprise, right? You can't make this up, man. I swear. Uh, the ball got booted right into his fucking forehead and bounced off into the goal. It was the most slab end moment I've ever seen. <laughs> oh shit! So it was a resto shaman in Max. Mostly 70s to uh, 80s in the old logs. Oh my god, uh, I've got cat hair everywhere. I can't see. There's too much cat hair. You need to relax. Oh my god, he's resto, dude. He's fucking resto. Let me see his gear. Oh my god, uh, dude. It's literally hate what gear, bro. Oh my god. He's actually... Wait, he's got a torch. No way you've got a torch on this character, Luna. I don't think having torch is a very big deal anymore, to be honest, mate. Dude, I'm more pissed that he probably got it the first kill. And I did it like 15 resets and didn't get it. I mean, this is a... This is an interesting one. But he's paid $85 for the... This is absolute grief the, from Luna. For the, I would be absolutely $85. livid if I was after him. This is going to never end, this game. This is definitely like... Uh, Tactics from Luna here. I'm going in. What well, this is strength of Earth term. This is some. Oh my god. This actually is a winnable game. This is the placement <laughs> Andy. <laughs> hey, this is hard placements, isn't it? Actually, it must be hard placements. And uh, we get some dots going on to the shaman here. They pop bloodlust with a spirit wolf and some insane play from Suk Young is going to keep him alive in this situation. We trinket out the hodge, trying to get a bit of damage going here. Suk Young keeping them 
active and keeping us offensive, not taking any damage, just staying alive. That he'd pop the bloodlust himself. We get a double fear onto the shaman. Shaman trinks out, but does not drop the tremor totem. Lovely stuff to see. Just wants to have as much damage as possible at all times. And Suit Young is doing a beautiful job here, keeping them at bay. They're trying to everything on him, but he simply cannot die. He is insane at the game, and the wings come out from the paladin. Hex is gonna be cast, but gets interrupted. He's got that shit on lockdown. Suit Young with another big oh, play. No. To ground this hex though, and he's going to take a bit of damage here. We cannot get out of it. We have the double fear when we come out. Sue Young going to fake the kick, going to get sheared. No one saw that. NS is going to top him off though with a PS to follow it up afterwards. And uh, it's a miracle that he's alive in this game. Only the top tierest of gamers would be able to survive a preg enhanced at 1400 rating. Hex does land here though, and we can't really get out of this cooldown. Suit Young taking a bit of shoe, but again, kiting beautifully around the pillar. They cannot touch Oh no! Him. Oh no! Suit Young is going to keep himself alive, never even scared that NS comes out to save him. Double fear with a trinket from the paladin and the spell onto the shaman. Spirit Wars available again with the wings, and this could be a problem. Have to pop the PS almost immediately, I would imagine, after this, but we are just staying alive. The wings is not helping here. Repent's going to land, and that is trouble for Suit young but he needs to survive he needs to do what he can power shield going to top him off here with a little prayer of mending and kiting and parkour all over the map does he have the ability to jump up is he one of those classes or is he not no one really knows but spirit wolves are in the middle of nowhere no tremors to take him out and the hex lands onto the shaman great play from suit young here to keep ourselves alive and in with a shot at the title of most boring cleave nature swiftness has been used the hex is off cooldown if we can land it onto the shaman the paladin will be a very fucking good target can luna find the hex onto the shaman or is it just going to be too much pump he's trying his best he gets grounded on it good effort but not going to be the one the paladin completely um runs off though around the map oh he didn't get grounded the hex is down what the fuck um mass trying to master spell the divine plea Gets it off and the Paladin is shit out of luck for mana. This could be it. This could be the game. If we can get a bit more damage rolling onto him. Tremor's going to be killed. Double Fear is going to follow up. And the Paladin in dire straits in Mana burn down to zero. Holy Fire with the Lava Burst is going to land. And he is being taken low. Down to 18% behind the pillar. Can we get to him in time? We're running. We're doing our best. Grounding is up. The healing wave is going to get interrupted by Super Young. <laughs> and he takes him down. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> For fuck's sake, Luna! <laughs>